guys, Cindy Art here with My Arts Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I just did a previous video, and these were the prompts that I used for the last three puzzle pieces. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these out because it seems like I seem to be using a lot of them over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick um, from the rest of the pile, which is right here, for these next three. Sorry about my dog barking. Okay, one. There's one. Two. She's out there yabbering. Three. Four. Four and four. Five. Five and five. Let's see. Make sure I've got them. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So let's put the rest of this deck up. And let's see what we have. Number one, we have drop ink from up high or drop fluid acrylic paint from up high. We have use pastel colors or bright colors. Use hearts or X's and O's. Use a gift card to spread paint or use a palette knife. Um, use embossing powder or modeling paste. So that's a pretty good one. That's a definitely a different variety of, t of cards. This one says, scratch paint with a pen or with mark making tools. Um, paint with a gift card or paint with a piece of cardboard. Use your favorite color or use the color of your shirt. Mine is blue today. I don't know if you can see it. Mine is blue. Um, use bubble wrap. This is bubble warp. <laughs> bubble wrap or saran wrap. Doodle or stencil. So those are pretty cool. And then our last one we have is gesso over half of the page or start a new page. Well, I can't start a new puzzle piece because I, you know, don't have any more, so I'm just going to have to gesso over half of it. Use scraps to make a focal point or use fabric for a focal point. Use magazine images or a photo I took. Use a ribbon or use yarn. And use tissue pa paper for texture or aluminum foil for texture. So yeah, these are going to be totally different. Um, like I said, these are the ones I used on the last video. And I just decided to keep them out so that, you know, I'm not doing the same thing over and over again. And I may do that on the last video for the puzzle pieces as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to get started. I'm going to do this one first. And I hope you guys enjoy.
All right, everybody, so these, <laughs> these are a little bit more difficult, um, which is fine. I mean, I like a challenge. Uh, first of all, this is a huge, huge marker, but it's all dried up. So I gotta throw this one away. I've used it a lot, so it's understandable. All right, so let's go ahead and look these over. The first one I did is this one here. It's got the hearts on it. Um, the order that I did them in was use pastel or bright. I used pastel. Gift card or a palette knife. I used a palette knife. Drop ink up from a pie. I wanted to use this ink, and apparently it's really, really thick. So it wouldn't let me actually drip it. So yeah, you saw it got all over everything except for this. So I had to do it, you know, whatever. So that's what I did with that one. Um, use hearts, which I did. And then I used embossing powder and I used those on the hearts. It came out okay. Um, I don't know if these hearts are going to be upside down, right side up. I don't know. So we'll just have to see what that piece does. This one here, this one was, again, another strange one. Um, uh, yeah, it was, this one was a hard one. So I had to gesso over half of it, what, which I did. It said, or start another page, and I can't do that. So um, then I used tissue paper for texture here, or you could have used aluminum foil. Use ribbon or yarn. I used this ribbon. Um, use scraps to make a focal point. So I made this, this, um, okay, brain bubble, arrow, thank you. And um, I did that out of scraps. And then it says use magazine images or a photo I took. Well, this is a little magazine image. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beach and a couple beach chairs. Can you see it? So yeah, that was the image that I used. So this one, I don't know. I'd like to redo the whole thing, but, you know, whatever. It's done. It's done. So we're going to leave that one alone. This one here, again, today, these three, I'm just kind of like, eh. So anyways, first thing was use my favorite color. My favorite color is teal. I also love purple, and I'm a big pink person. So um, those are my three favorite colors. Um, scratch the paint. With a pen, I didn't use a pen because I didn't want to ruin one of my pens. So I used my pokey tool here, and that worked just fine. Paint with a gift card or the piece of cardboard. I did these lines with a piece of cardboard. Use bubble wrap, which I did. I did the black dots on it. And then stencil or doodle. First I did the stencil, and then I decided to doodle the stencil. So there's this one. Interesting, huh? So this is going to make... A really interesting puzzle. Um, I believe I only have three more left and um, actually here's the rest of the deck so I may go ahead and do those today. I'm not sure. We'll see. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Again I hope you're playing along and thanks so much for walking, watching. Yeah thanks for walking. Um, thanks so much for walking watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.